lost. Amen. 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 Awesome God. Just thank Him. Always coming for us. And He deserves our praises. We want to lift up His name wherever we are. And give God praise and give God thanks. Because that's what this is all about. Everything we do. Not everything ourselves. We have just a few announcements. <clears throat> um, Sister Pace, um, and Pace, um, we did the problem in the hospital. I want to thank you last time. Also, next Sunday, Lord say the same. Uh, Forty years ago, I preached my first sermon. Uh, next Sunday, in uh, uh, the park on Tuesday, um, Sunday, preach. Uh, and the third Sunday, Lord say the same. I preach next Sunday on my 40th uh, year in ministry. And, uh, just ask him to continue prayers. That's all. And I just want to thank God. Thank 
thank y'all so much for standing. I really appreciate it. And on behalf of our pastor, Reverend Clark, we have Reverend Fells over there, and we have Reverend Parker in our pulpit. But on behalf of all of us at New Hope, we're so glad to have all of you here with us. We want you to always feel free to come to New Hope because this is a church of love. And we want you to always feel comfortable when you come. We're glad to have you. We pray that you get something out of our message. Please come back and see us again. Thank you all. Or 
you're going to get less of it for a dollar. Mm -hmm. I've heard the stories of my grandparents that would go to the store and buy things for a nickel. Yeah. Yeah. You won't be buying anything for a nickel these days. You would rarely find anything under a dollar these days. Because the goal is that dollar, which most folks feel is a value. And that's rapidly decreasing. Even the dollar tree is having a discussion to talk about going from everything to a dollar to a dollar twenty-nine cents sometime in the future. Everyday things that we see as a value in this world really is not. Let's see what value is. Value, the importance, worth, or usefulness of something, high opinion of something. So value can be what you make, what's important to you, what's worth to you, usefulness to you. What you make high opinion of. Yeah. Value is a fair return or equal equivalent in goods or services. There is nothing in today's world that is truly worth its value. Mm -hmm. The world may push you believe, to believe that it is, but it's not. A Big Mac value meal costs you around seven dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax. It costs a double cheeseburger meal. We add a drink to about four dollars and eighty five cents. It costs McDonald's around sixty five cents to manufacture and serve you that one Big Mac. It costs McDonald's around thirty six cents to manufacture you and serve you that one double cheeseburger. It only costs 17 cents to manufacture and serve you one drink, including the cups and straws. They only pay $3 a case of fries that contains six packs, which serves 50 people per serve, which is around 300 servings, which is about $600 after a case of the profit, a $597 profit per case on just fries alone. Where can you invest $3 and make a $597 profit? You can't. The world system is designed to keep the up up and the down down. The, they, the value is for them, not for you. The value that you don't want to go home and cook. The value that you're too busy to go home and cook. The, the value is that you're not understanding what a value is. Just like the devil does with the word of God. He values that you don't want to go home and hear the word of God. He values that you're too tired to go home and get the word of God. Yeah. He values when you don't understand the value of the word of God. Yeah. The devil has a world wrapped around his face. Yeah. There is no value for you pertaining to this world. When Jesus came, he didn't come to physically rule as king as most Jews thought. He can't just spiritually rule. So our value shouldn't be physically gaining, but spiritually gaining. That's right, man. Amen. Amen. This world has no value for us as Christians. Yeah. When I think about a value, I always think about getting the better deal. Mm -hmm. I think about winning. Uh, yeah. The world ain't looking or designed to give you the better deal. Amen. When you live in a world where you can walk into a corner store and pay almost $4 for a small container of orange juice, which is naturally grown from God's soil, from God's sunlight, and in that same corner store, 
you can pull your ice cold Bud Light out of the cool. Right there in the front by the cash register for a dollar some change. <laughs> the true objective is the value there. Which is the better deal? How can something that is healthy for you, with vitamin C, good for your body, cost more than something that is kidney killing, also causing, and mind altering when you consume too many? Amen. What kind of value is that? Yeah. How does that happen when we live in a governing society that's supposed to be governed in our best interests? How is it that diabetics are having to pay three to four hundred dollars or more for insulin that they need to live? And you can go to Get a miracle marijuana card that allows you to go buy $23 sack of weed from a licensed dispensary for a chronic back pain. Where's the value in that? You can't even prove chronic back pain. They actually give cards out because they can't prove chronic back pain. The devil has the world fooled. There's no value. In this world for us. Right. Our value is in the word of God. Amen. And the devil wants to keep you from that. By having you believe that you have value in this world. Yeah. There is no value in this world for you. Nor does the world value you. Amen. If you think America cares about you. Oh. You're sadly mistaken. They care more about the economy than about your life. As you see throughout this whole pandemic. There is no value in the world. The world's not worth it. Tell your Bible to 1 John. Stay in 1 John. Go over to that second chapter of 1 John. We're going to look at the 15th verse. First John, second chapter. We'll look at that 15 verse. It says, Love not the world, Amen. not the things that are in the world. Yeah. If a man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Yeah. That's what the word says. Yeah. Now that love that is stated here points right back to value. Yep. What do you value more? What do you love more? The Father or the world? Now the 16 verse said, For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life, is not of the Father, but of the world. Your value shouldn't be in the world, because it's not of the Father. But your value should be in the Word. Yeah. Because He is the Word. Right. Go to 1 John right quick. 2 John, 1st chapter. 2 John, 1st chapter, look at that very first verse. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, yeah. right. and the Word was God. That's where you have value. Right. That's where you win. Right. That's where you get more than you deserve. As the old people would say, uh, more bang for your buck. Yeah. There's no profit in gaining the world. Amen. But value in the word of God. Yeah. First Timothy 6, 6 says, but God is with content is great game. Right. Right. In everything you value, you normally want to gain more of it. If you value your wife or husband's love, naturally you're going to want to gain more of it. Right. If you value your job, you normally are going to want to gain a better position. 
if you value the team you're on, then normally they're going to physically going to want to be better at it. If you value the word of God, you're going to spiritually want to know more about it. You value your earning from your job to be able to gain things in this life. You should value what you obtain in the word of God to be able to gain heaven. If you want to gain heaven, you need to take the value of the word of God. Turn to Matthew's 16th chapter quickly. Matthew 16th chapter. Look at that one verse. Matthew 16th chapter. We're going to look at that. 26th verse. For what is a man profit if he gain the whole world and lose his own soul? But what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? What is profit? Huh? If you gain everything over here on this side and end up in hell. What is worth that? No value in it. The word of God is what we should hold on to as value on this side. Psalms 119, 105 says, The word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. A light so I can see what direction to go. If I need to see what direction to go, there must be more than one direction I can head. We know there are two directions. A wrong and a right direction. A broad and a narrow road. And just as we talked about last Sunday in Sunday school, the only way. Yeah. Yeah. Tony Bowers is John, St. John, 14 chapter. St. John, the 14 chapter. We're going to look at one verse. St. John, 14 chapter. The sixth verse. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus is the narrow way. Jesus is the right way. And from this passage, Jesus is the only way. Yeah. Yeah. A very important, this is a very, very important passage in the Word of God. Now, Jesus himself clarifies the way. Yeah. The way not being good, the way not being works, the way not being religious, the way not being the poor, the way not uh, following the laws on the Sabbath, the way not traditions, the way not keeping the commandments because you can't, the way is Jesus. He clears up the truth. The truth ain't you got to speak in tongues. The truth ain't you got to care for the Holy Ghost. The truth ain't to memorize all the scriptures. The truth ain't you got to be studying the laws. The truth ain't you got to be a part of 144,000. The truth ain't you got to be a Jew in the city and a part of black Israelites. The truth ain't about you got to be perfect because you can't. Because you're perfect in him. The truth is Jesus. Then he clarifies and clears up the life. The life you expect doing all these things you believe is in him. The life eternal is in him. The life you look for on the other side is in him. The life you look for in heaven 
is in him. Their heavenly reunion with loved one that has gone on to the other side. It's in him. Yeah. Jesus makes it clear yeah. in the word of God that he is the only way. Through him. Jesus makes it clear in the word of God. Only he is the way. The word of God gives you access to Jesus. And Jesus is the only access to heaven. The value of the word of God. Now let's go back to 1 John 4 chapter. And we close out. Back to 1 John. Chapter. I'm going to read that 15 through 16. Bro. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed that love that God has to us. God is love. The value of the word of God is love. There's nothing more valuable than that. He gave us his word because he loved us. He gave us his son because he loved us. Let's take value in what God has given us. And show the world is worth in his son in Jesus' name. The value of the word is the undeserved love for us by God through Jesus Christ. The 17th verse says, Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment, because as he is, so are we in this world. He shows us love. The world doesn't show love. They teach you in school to be better than your classmates. They teach you on your job to outwork your employees, to be a better worker, to fight for a higher position. They teach you in sports, to beat your opponent, win at all costs, take them down however necessary, get the victory however you can. They start off early in daycare, beauty pageants, be pretty than another child. <laughs> Where is the love taught in the world today? Nowhere. But it's in the Word of God. Jesus' love for us gives us value. Amen. The door of the church open.